Hi, 7th graders. We are on Lesson 4-9, which is Indirect Measurement, and it starts on page 232 in your textbook. We'll be solving problems involving similar triangles. So indirect measurement, which you can add to your vocab sheet, allows you to use properties of similar polygons to find distances or lengths that are difficult to measure directly. So basically, we can create similar po polygons when we're given a word problem and use their corresponding sides and congruent angles to um, figure out missing lengths. So if we're given this problem, a fire hydrant two and a half feet high casts a five foot shadow. So over here we have our fire hydrant which is two and a half feet high and our shadow which is five feet. H how tall is a street light that casts a 26 foot shadow at the same time? So here's our street light and here's our 26 foot shadow. Okay, and we named our street light H. So first of all, we can pretend and create two triangles. So therefore, now we have two similar triangles. And since we know how to find the missing length of a similar triangle, then we should be able to easily solve this. So we, we are going to line up our lengths including our missing street length, length um, based on our corresponding sides again. So this time we have it labeled and we have our shadows. Our shadows are lined up and our heights are lined up. And if you think back to when we did similar polygons and we had two similar triangles, we always looked and we saw we would match up our two and a half with our H because they're the corresponding sides. And we would match up our five and 26 because they're corresponding sides. Okay, notice that we have 5 and 2.5 on the top because they're both the hydrant, okay, or the smaller triangle, and then we have 26 and H on the bottom because they're both the street light. Now we have a proportion and we are going to solve. So remember we do cross products, so we would remember 5 and times h, oops, and 26 times 2.5. So 5h equals 2.5 times 26. Then we multiply and we divide and we get that the street light is 13 feet tall, which would make sense. Okay, hydrant is smaller than our shadow. Our street light is shadow, smaller than our shadow. So we always want to make sure that our answer makes sense. Okay, if we have a two meter street sign that casts a three meter shadow and a telephone pole that casts a 12.3 meter shadow, how tall is the telephone pole? So you can draw yourself a picture and, and or you can set yourself up a proportion. So take a second, pause me and see if you can set up the correct proportion and then we'll go over it together. So if you draw yourself a picture, we have our 2 meter street sign and our 3 meter shadow. And then we have our telephone pole, which we're not sure how tall it is, and our 12.3 meter shadow. So we have our shadows corresponding to each other and our street sign and our telephone pole heights corresponding together. So you should have set up this proportion. 3 over 12.3 equals 2 over question mark, or you could have put an x or any variable. So we have 3 times our question mark equals 2 times 12.3, and then we solve and we get 8.2 meters. Okay, we can also use similar triangles that do not involve shadows to find missing measurements. So here we have 2 triangles, we have one triangle that is inside another triangle, and they are corresponding, because as we can see, th these are both right angles. This is the same angle for both triangles, and these are the same angles, and they are similar. So, or they're, yeah, they're both right triangles. So they're both similar, even though it's just kind of one big triangle. So in the figure at the right, triangle DBA, so I would 
maybe make sure that we know which triangle we're talking about. DBA is similar to BCA. So this triangle is similar to this big triangle. We want to know the distance across the lake, which is this right here. So if we find AB and AC, we know that AB is going to correspond to AC, and BD corresponds to CE, which is our lake. So we can set that up. Okay, AB to AC, so AB over AC, because they're the same, corresponding, and BD over CE. Okay, so we know that AB is 320. We know that AC, we have to add both of these sides together to get 482. We know that BD is 40, and then we're not sure what CE is yet, so then that's our variable. Okay, so the most important part is setting up your proportion correctly, and then that's then from there, then you'll find the cross products, multiply, divide, and then you'll get your answer, which is 60.25 meters, which makes sense to us. If it was a ton bigger or if it was smaller than 40, then we obviously set it up wrong. Okay, so as long as we're always matching up the same sides per similar polygon, that's how we need to set up our proportion. Okay, we want to find the length of Kentucky Lane. So, when we look at this, there's a lot going on here. So we have one triangle right here, and then we also have Oops, I'm on my computer, so that's why I can't do it very straight. We also have this big triangle. Okay, so in this triangle right here, our smaller triangle, we don't know what this length is, but we do know that this leg is four miles, and we know that our hypotenuse is six miles. Okay, Kentucky Lane is our big hypotenuse, or our hypotenuse of our big triangle, but we do know the whole length of this leg in our big triangle. Okay, so what we're going to do then is we're going to take our small triangle leg, which is four, and our big triangle leg which is 8, because we have to add 4 and 4 together. And then we're going to take the hypotenuse of our small triangle, and we're going to take the hypotenuse of the big triangle, which we don't know. So now we can um, multiply our cross products. So 4 and x, and 6 and 8. So we get... 4x equals 48, divide both sides by 4, x equals 12 miles. All right, there, these are very, these are the examples from the book, but you can go back in your book and reread or relook, or you can rewatch the video. You can also um, look more online for indirect measurement if you're still a little bit confused. Make sure that you go on to Naiku and take the 4-9 quiz, and I will see you um, in class on Monday.